Hi, welcome today to Australian Gear. Today, we're gonna to look at packaging of the Akubra hats. We sell a lot of these hats, um, almost 250 hats a week, so we've got a lot of experience in shipping worldwide directly to you guys all around the world. Now, the beauty of the Akubra hat is that it starts its life like this, in a flat, uh, what they call hood. And there's three hoods made for each, uh, each hat. Um, and those hoods are stretched into 12 different sizes. So the beauty of this product is that uh, it's very malleable and very fixable, because they start their life as this, and they end up as that. Um, let's have a look at how we uh, package your orders. So when you have an order with us, we exit an export carton. It's a pretty sturdy box. It's marked uh, with Fragile, and it's put a Fragile sticker across it as well. Um, that's not... Uh, always the case where uh, the couriers and uh, 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 postage people uh, look after your package. We certainly hope that that's the case, but sometimes, uh, unfortunately, numbers are against us and hats do get damaged. Um, how do they get damaged? Don't ask me, but I will tell you that when we ship a product from here to America, for example, it gets handled around 56 to uh, 65 different times through different procedures of people taking the hats. Um, we put it inside an export carton. Um, it's packed with uh, what we call a, a crown protector, um, which is here. And uh, we also have a plastic cone inside. And that gives it some rigidity as well. And it's put inside the carton, packaged and sent off to you. Now, if the carton gets flattened by any chance, which they can do if you put about 70 kilos on it, or if you get really excited and you really give it a a good bang. Um, obviously we're hoping that doesn't happen in your package, but sometimes I've seen boxes uh, with, with damaging on the side like this. Um, first thing to do is obviously open it up. Uh, you'll find your hat inside might be damaged like this. Um, the beauty of the Kubra, as I said before, is it starts off its life like, like this in this flat shape. And it's very easy to get the shape back in the hat. pull out the crown support, and you'll see that the hat pounces back. Now you can drive a, a truck over these hats and they still bounce back. As long as the, the, the material is not compromised and ripped or torn, uh, the hats actually um, come back in, in, in pretty good shape. Now, this particular hat's got a little bit of a kink here. Um, what I do is I get a brush, have a look at it on, on our site to see um, brushing techniques, um, and if that doesn't work, then you can put it on a kettle. Get the steam coming into the hat, um, form it, mould it, you can, you can shape it any way you really want with a bit of steam. They're all made in a round, um, they all come like this out of the, the factory and then they're punched into a mould to make that hat nice and smooth. Um, you'll find that the hat will recover extremely well. If it's extremely badly uh, flattened, you can always send it to your local hat store and get them to press your hat for you. But other than that, it should be good to go. Thanks for watching today.